everyone. Welcome back to Military Now. The US Army is inching towards fielding its first true combat capable, high powered laser weapon mounted on a striker infantry carrier vehicle. The service announced that it had successfully completed its first ever directed energy maneuver short range air defense or DEM short combat shoot off between two unique laser systems at Fort Sill in Oklahoma earlier this summer. The shootoffs are the 250 kilowatt laser weapons, developed in a competition between defense contractors Northrop Grumman and Raytheon, participate in a series of vignettes designed to emulate realistic threats and combat scenarios. Those vignettes included simulated UAS and rocket, artillery, and mortar, ram, targets for the systems to engage. The laser-equipped strikers faced a number of realistic scenarios designed to establish for the first time in the Army, the desired characteristics for future DEM short systems, while laser weapons, long a dream of military planners, have only recently become feasible as a real-life combat system, it's unclear whether technological progress will allow the Army to keep its ambitious timetable for deploying its laser strikers downrange, but as far as Army officials are concerned, the service's laser striker prototypes are all but ready for the next big war. This is the first combat application of lasers for a maneuver element in the Army. The technology they have today is ready. This is a gateway to the future US Army. DEM Shored Program Manager Call. G. Scott McLeod added in a statement said they are building and delivering a brand new capability. This is not a modification or an upgrade. It took just 24 months for the combined government and industry team to design, integrate, and have it ready to perform in an operational environment. The Pentagon once envisioned deploying laser-equipped strikers downrange in Iraq and Syria to counter the flying IEDs and explosive-laden drones of terror groups like ISIS, but applications to the European theater became a major focus for military planners after US. Army Europe identified a major short-range air defense shored, gap in the aftermath of Russia's 2014 annexation of Crimea, while soldiers with the 2nd Cavalry Regiment have been rocking 5 kW laser systems aboard striker vehicles downrange in Europe for the last several years. The 50 kW trial represents a major increase in both power and, by association, lethality, over previous iterations of the system one that might finally prove capable of effectively intercepting incoming drones and ordnance. The Army said in a statement DEM sure at very lethality against unmanned aircraft systems, UAS, and rockets, artillery and mortars, ram, laser weapons now increase Army air and missile defense capability while reducing total system life cycle cost through reduced logistical demand. According to the service, the Army Rapid Capabilities and Critical Technologies Office RCCTO, plans on delivering a platoon of four laser-equipped strikers to an actual combat unit by sometime in fiscal year 2022. Army officials had previously announced plans to stand up its first battalion of striker vehicles outfitted with high-powered laser weapons sometime this year with the goal of eventually standing up for battalions by 2021.